welcome to another episode of Rate or Roast. My rig, I believe this is episode number 24. That's a lot of rating and roasting. And if you'd like to get your own rig rated and or roasted, feel free to drop me an email. I will link down below in the description at raterroast at gmail.com. And maybe you will make it on a future episode of Rate or Roast My Rig. And if not, you'll probably cry about it in the comments. Let's get started. Immediately I'm drawn to not the rig, but the flooring and the wall. Are you in your grandmother's basement? <laughs> I mean, she's probably deaf anyway, so it just makes sense to like, you know, bring your rig over and just crank up, right? She can't hear, she's just like, do you hear something? You're like, no. Mm -mm. Um, your pedal board's good, your amp's great. You have uh, a Mesa Boogie Roadster with the 212. You have some Pretty decent guitars. You have a JP, you have a PRS, a couple Ibanezes, check your bass. I love that you have the little foot pedestal thing that's normally meant for, I believe, like classical guitarists for a classical position acoustic. I don't see an acoustic here though, which means you're using it like, you know, John Petrucci style. I'm gonna put my leg up and I'm gonna be cool guy in my grandma's basement. Also, your expression pedal is hanging off the front of the pedal board that really bugs the shit out of me for some reason. I don't know why. But overall, it's a decent rig. The cool guy pedestal aside, and your poor grandmother, I feel sorry for her, so I'm gonna still gonna give you four out of five beards. I'm at a disco. I'm at a disco, where am I? What? That's what those lights on that back wall make me think. And I don't want to think that if I'm trying to come into a clearly creative space. You're being very creative, uh, especially with the P pink BC Rich and what are those? Schechter, Ibanez. You know, you have uh, you have your MacBook out. You have Logic up. Um, your pedal board's underneath your underneath your desk, so you can sit and work your pedals and track. That's cool. I'm with that. What I can't help but laugh at is the uh, the microphone's always set up in case you're so creative, you have to get up and then lay down a vocal. You're not laying down any vocals, man. Come on. You're a guitar player. Also, those panels on that back wall, those uh, those sound panels aren't doing anything. Just, uh, just so you know. Um, I kind of hate the setup, but I kind of back it at the same time. It's a weird uh, middle of the road for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it Three out of five beards. Okay, first of all, fuck you for even sending me this garbage. Um, also, are you in trouble? It looks like you are literally being held hostage in a basement and you happen to find a six string Marvel mystery oil can and made a guitar out of it. Are you okay? Blink twice if you're in danger. Jesus, I just, clearly you're in a basement and there's the, there's a cat litter thing in front of the water heater and a JBL speaker. God, you poor thing. I literally, I'm hearing like, put the lotion in the basket kind of stuff in my head when I look at this thing. Is that a pig nose pedal? What in the hell is that? I don't even never even seen that before. This looks like you're probably either a serial killer or about to be a victim of a serial killer. And I don't know which one and both of those worry me. I'm stressed out right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give your rig one out of five beards. Okay, so this rig is nice and tidy. Whoever owns this rig has refined tastes. They probably sip very expensive wine or scotch. And that Les Paul is just lovely. I believe that is a slash model. Correct me if I'm wrong. Your pedal board is tidy. I see no loose cables anywhere. You have a really cool relic uh, Squire Strat. Um, I believe that's someone's signature model, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Uh, the Fender Deluxe Amp is great. This overall is a very, very solid rig. I'm gonna give you four and a half out of five beards, man. <laughs> okay, so this rig, it's in like an upstairs attic closet or something. This literally looks like your gear is, your gear's city is under siege and they are hiding during the bombings. And they're like, they're hiding. Is that bad? Am I gonna get flagged for that? 
you know what, I'm gonna go with it anyway, screw it. They're refugees in some kind of a war and they are hiding and one of them, one of the guitars scurries and gets the rest of you food during nightfall. And <laughs> also you're left-handed, so automatically you're evil and you're probably a bad person as most left-handed people are. Um, but nevertheless, you have, let's see, that's a uh, Schechter. You have a Les Paul, an SG, and a Jazz Master, and a super sick Bandit 112 from the 90s. Awesome, oh, but you got a BB Sonic Maximizer pedal. Those are garbage, I don't even do anything. Um, I'm gonna give you three and a half out of five beards. We have a lovely bass rig here. You have a couple of five string uh, Fender jazz basses. Uh, jazz bass, a uh, jazz bass is also favored by my friend Jeffa in the used. He loves his jazz bass. Clean, hard key setup. Um, your pedal board is clean as hell. The wires coming off the pedal board are even like all like spread and they come together in a coily thing. And then that is just, that is clean as hell. I'm gonna give your rig four and a half out of five beers, my friend. <laughs> I don't know why this picture is funny to me, but looking at like what is clearly like a futon and like another couch closer in the bottom right hand corner, I've been to this house, not this exact house, but I've been to a million houses like this when your guitar buddy has you over and you're sitting on the couch literally like two feet away from all of his guitar stuff. And he says to you, hey, want to come over to the tone den and then you just get up and then it'll literally turn and then you're in the tone den that's what kind of setup this is this is a tone den setup you got a lot an old line six you got an old marshall acoustic amp i think no it's not an acoustic amp that's just the reflection um you got a squire you got an ibanez you got a telly you got an ltd you have some nice flowers that are real nice. And what is that, another hot water heater on the left? I don't even know what the hell that is. But you're clearly in the tone den. You need a pedal board. Your pedals are just on the floor. They're not even hooked up. Um, but you know what? I'd hang out in the tone den all day long. I'm gonna go ahead and give you uh, three out of five beards. And last but not least, we have an Epiphone SG a nice little uh, orange combo and a tidy little pedal board with the drop tune pedal and a Boss Digital Delay and a Tube Screamer. Um, it's all good here. I see this is probably in that little space at the end of the bed where there's not enough to really put anything. This is probably your bedroom, but you know what? For this kind of setup, that actually makes a lot of sense. I love those Epiphone SGs. I actually recorded with one about 20 years ago and it was actually a great sounding guitar. I really, really like this setup. I don't know why, I shouldn't. And I've roasted less, way harder, but you know what? Mm, this kind of puts me in a good mood, makes me happy. Takes me to my own personal tone den. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it three and a half out of five beards. And that does it for this episode of Ready to Roast My Rig. Again, if you wanna send me your rig, feel free to email me at readyroast at gmail.com and we will get you squared away, I promise. Fluff out. Video's over. I hope it was good. I mean, if it wasn't good, I apologize. But if it was good, you're welcome. <laughs>